Hey friends, it's Andrea from the blog Pine and Prospect Home and I'm so excited for today's video. I'm feeling very spring-like today, even though there's snow on the ground. I have the cutest floral skirt on. You can't really see it in this video, so I'll have to show you a quick shot here. Today's video is sponsored by a company called Timu, and I'm gonna talk more about Timu later on in this video, but right now Timu is running a massive spring sale. You can head over to timu.com for discounts of up to 90% off, and you can find the link below in my description for items that I'm going to feature in this video, including these adorable spring dresses. You guys, their prices are insane. Look at these beautiful floral dresses. I can't wait to pick one out for Easter. I love the skirt that I'm wearing today. And again, I'm gonna share more about Timu in this video, but their site offers free shipping. Uh, they have free returns for up to 90 days. And they also accept all major forms of payment, including pay later programs. So again, I'm going to unbox and share with you the items I'll be using in today's video later on. Today, I just want to talk about where am I? <laughs> um, obviously, if you read the title of today's video, I'm in my basement and I haven't, I mean, this is an unfamiliar background. I haven't really done a lot of recording down here. I've shared bits and pieces. And if you follow me on Instagram, I have shared little sneak peeks. And so I have some questions that I'm still kind of wondering about in this space, but we have enough of it done to where I can bring in decor and do the fun stuff. And I'll share with you like what we're still working on in here, but we have made a ton of progress. So when I say basement, I mean like particularly today, I'm working on the laundry space. And um, if you'll notice behind me, I have the pine hutch that I stripped and sanded, and that was a labor of love. We found a space for it here in the laundry area. So we brought in some cabinetry, some really affordable, just right off the shelf cabinetry. Um, I painted it. I'll have to double check the blog post for you guys. I'm pretty sure it's Revere Pewter, and I think I lightened it by 50%. I want it a little bit lighter. So I painted the cabinets that color, we used some really affordable countertops, just some hardwood that we bought. And then my husband used this really cool, um, it's like an iron on wood for the edges of the countertop. And what that does is just make it look more finished. It was really simple and easy to work with. Um, so we did that to the counters and then I was going to stain them, stain the countertops a much warmer color, but I ended up just sticking with, uh, white, simply white. I think it's called it's, um, I'll have all these details on my blog, but it was just like a white stain by Midwax. And when we finished, we were like, you know what, let's leave it. We really like the light and bright. So we left it that color and then we built these shelves in the, in the, uh, the same shelves that we built in our dining room, we kind of replicated those for our basement space. But I decided to add these cutie little pegs so I could hang things from them. So the sink is from Vintage Tub and we ended up creating a DIY like stand for it. And it was a really fun project. We bought some legs from the hardware store and my husband cut out, we used the hutch as inspiration and we traced the design on the bottom of the hutch and used more of that hardwood to create this beautiful cutout between the legs. And he basically just built this like base for the sink. And I love that area, but I have some questions about um, the sink area and how I want to sort of hide the plumbing. So lots of questions for you guys today. I can't wait to hear what you guys think and what your suggestions are in the comments. So before we start decorating, I have such a fun mixture of items. I want to tell you a little bit more quickly about Timu, today's video sponsor. So I already told you they're running a massive spring sale. They have some beautiful dresses that are so affordable. I already shared those at the beginning, but they also have such a fun mixture of items of all kind. So let me tell you a little bit about Timu. Timu is an online marketplace that offers the most competitively priced products in multiple categories, fashion, jewelry, home decor, uh, pet supplies, and more. They offer top quality products at ultra affordable prices so everyone can enjoy the conveniences and comforts of life. So to learn more, you can simply visit timu.com or download the Timu app. 
for iPhone and Android. So that's just a little bit about Timu. Now let me share some of the things I picked out from their site, you guys, along with these adorable dresses. The first thing that I grabbed they were these adorable brushes. Um, so I just, I love using these. I've talked about scrub brushes multiple times. And since we have a sink area down here, this area is going to sort of have several purposes, okay? So it's sort of a laundry space. But if we have guests down here, we eventually want to add a bathroom to this basement. So if we have guests down here, this could serve as like a kitchenette type space. And we could have a mini fridge down here, a coffee maker, you know. Um, and so it's almost like a laundry room slash kitchenette, if that makes sense. I know it's a little strange, but I just want it to serve both purposes. So I got these. Another item uh, that I grabbed is just this little lint brush and it's so cute. It has an adorable wooden handle. Oh, I also got this label maker. So I found this on the Timu website and I was like, oh my goodness, I'm gonna have all of these jars down here and I wanna label them. I already did one, this one says vinegar. So I wanna have like vinegar, hydrogen peroxide, bleach, anything that is like laundry related, put them in these bottles and uh, display them on the shelf. So I thought that label maker would be perfect for that. Another item that I got from Timu that's more long, well, let me finish the laundry items. So I got this cute little like canvas storage hamper. It's um, it's sort of a smaller size, so I'm not sure exactly yet what I'm gonna use it for. I got a whole package of dryer balls. So literally their site provides so much to choose from. I mean, there are so, so many different items um, that you can find. This one blew me away though. Wait until you see this amazing find. They sell artwork and this artwork is printed on this beautiful canvas. So it's like thick, you guys, this is not paper. Look at this gorgeous landscape painting. Are you kidding me right now? And it's on like thick paper. So I'm gonna frame this and use it in my laundry space, but the whole set that I bought, look at how pretty these prints are. It came with this one, it's upside down. Look how pretty this is. I might use these like all throughout my house. So that was something I was very impressed by. Um, okay, so a few other things for like the kitchenette aspect of this space. I got these adorable <laughs> clear coffee mugs. I just think they're super cute. This super adorable, it's it's like a pour over coffee. <sighs> There's a special name for it. <laughs> How stinking adorable is this toaster? <laughs> Look at this toaster, it's so classy. Have you ever seen such a classy, cute toaster? I have to be honest, when I opened it, I was like, I don't want to put this in my basement. I want this in my kitchen. <laughs> but if we do have guests, if they have everything they need down here, that'll be perfect. So still kind of figuring out, you know, what type of fridge we want to buy for down here and all that. If you guys have suggestions, you can let me know. But anyways, I just thought that was the cutest toaster I have ever seen in my entire life. So I don't know, I might need to steal this one for upstairs. <laughs> So like I said, Timu is running this massive spring sale. You guys have to just go click around, check out their site. They have such a wide variety of items available. Um, you can check the description below for a link to all of the items I featured in this video. And also there's a code so that you can grab 30% off. Again, they offer free shipping, free returns for up to 90 days, they accept all forms of payment. So I was just really pleasantly surprised by all of the items they had available on their site. And I can't wait to wear those dresses all spring and summer long. So why don't we start decorating this space? And um, I asked my husband, I said, am I gonna get in your way if I decorate like the countertop and the shelves? <laughs> Cause he still has some work to do on the ceiling, some beadboard to add. Um, we need to finish the beam throughout the center of the room. So there are some things he has to do still, but he said, go ahead, you can decorate. <laughs> you won't get in my way. So let's do that now. And I'm just, I'm really excited to get started.
Okay, so I think I want to focus on, I can't decide where I want to focus first. The shelves, the countertops, the hutch. Let's do the hutch first, okay? Let's decorate the hutch and then we'll kind of go from there. So with the hutch, I'm feeling like because of the warmth of the wood, I'm needing some soft like linens, which is why I added the baskets and these wool dryer balls I think look so pretty. They add softness, but I'm thinking pops of white. So I'm gonna look for like a white pitcher and maybe even some flowers to sort of soften it. Okay, so this is where I'm at right now. I've got these cute little bottles that I've labeled with my label maker here. I've got my cute dryer balls and scrub brush and spray bottle here. So you'll notice like I've got the dark and the dark and they're kind of across from each other. So I'm wondering if like a glass item up there um, might make sense, but I'm just trying to kind of balance it all out. But so far, I'm really liking the way this is looking. Really cute. Can't seem to find the right item for there. So let's just move on. <laughs> let's move to the shelves. We can always revisit another area. Let's decorate these shelves behind me. I'm so excited to add some of these fun items. Don't get discouraged when it doesn't come together right away. <laughs> I am, I promise I am doing this like live with you and I'm still trying to figure it all out. So just bear with me. Maybe I will just keep playing and playing and playing and it'll just take some time to come together and that's okay. Um, but I'm gonna, what I think I'm gonna do instead of decorating the shelves first, I'm gonna put what, what I think might work on the countertops first and that way that'll help me sort of guide what should be up on the shelves so I'm gonna do that I should have done that first so let me pull some pull in some items for the actual counters um, and we'll go from there see if that helps with the shelves do you guys remember when I thrifted these with you I think I got them or maybe I got them at an antique Jeez. sorry about that the baby is sleeping, so hopefully that didn't wake him up. Um, I got these antiquing with you guys, I think. Anyways, I'm using them in the laundry room.
All right, guys, I think I've come to a stopping point. There are definitely some areas that I'm not sure about, and I'd love your opinion. So what I'm loving is items styled in the window wells. They're so deep, and I love that. But I think I want some plants that sort of flow outwards. So I'm gonna look for those. Also, I sort of just leaned this up against here. You can see there's a gap in the countertop here, and that's because this wall um, is just a little bit crooked. And so I think I want my husband to build a drying rack in this area, like a built-in drying rack. Um, but the main area, as far as the sink goes, is the material for underneath. So I have a couple of options and I wanna show you um, the one that I'm sort of leaning towards. So let me kind of tuck that up and, and show it to you guys. Okay, so obviously this isn't what it's going to look like. I have it jammed up under a curtain rod and it's folded in half. So it, I could definitely make it a little bit longer. I'm afraid if I tug too much, it'll fall. But this is like a super cute sage green gingham fabric. And at first I thought, oh, is it too cutesy? Like. I don't know, <laughs> but then I sort of warmed up to it and I thought maybe it adds a fun pop of color and maybe I should buy more of this fabric and add it to these areas. So I am kind of loving it. You guys let me know what you think. Here's another option. I was kind of looking through my fabrics and this is one that's super cute. It's got like, it's a, it's a dusty blue, but it's got like white little flowers on it. And I thought that would be a really fun pop of color. I don't really have a way of <laughs> sharing it with you, but that's another option. I'm sort of leaning towards the gingham though. I think it's really cute. So you guys tell me what your thoughts are, or I could do both, I suppose, but that's what I'm leaning towards. A few other things that are stumping me, this corner here. So I'm serious, you guys, I might steal this toaster and <laughs> put it upstairs in my kitchen. I'm kind of wondering if I should have a lamp in this corner, but I'm not in love with this one. Um, what I am loving in this corner, set this down, are baskets. I don't know why, just seeing them all piled up. Like I almost love the way they look all in this window well. Um, I just have this collection of thrifted baskets and I think they look so pretty up there. So, I'm still playing with this area, um, but I do love the idea of baskets here just because, you know, for guests, you could pile them up with pastries. And this one actually is so cute. I'll have to share a picture with you. It fits two little plants perfectly. You can sell, I, I sell the thrift store tag on there, but that would be super cute with some plants in it. So I don't know, this area has me stumped a little bit. I'm trying to figure that out, but I do love the way my shelves came together. Um, I'm kind of breaking the rule of three here with this bowl. I keep going back and forth. Do I want stoneware here or do I want some warmth with a bowl here? Kind of pull the, the warmth of the wood. So yeah, there's definitely some things I'm working on still and that's okay. It takes time to sort of curate a space and it might help if I leave for a little bit and come back. <laughs> But the artwork is gorgeous here from Timu. I love that. Love the clear little coffee mugs. I think those are so pretty. And these are all just secondhand items. Of course, I've got my little lint brush in here and I could probably add a few other things in this crack. I just thought it sort of pulled the counter, or I'm sorry, the, the cabinet color up onto the countertop and so, Loved that. And then, of course, got my little scrub brush here. You can hear the kiddos upstairs. So I think I think everything else is pretty much um, where I want it. I might tweak it a little bit, but yeah, just sort of playing with that corner still, figuring out what's gonna go in these two spaces, deciding whether or not I wanna add curtains. It'll be sort of a work in progress, so. <laughs> You guys let me know what you think so far, but I am just absolutely loving this laundry space. Never in a million years did I think that I would ever have a pretty laundry space. We have had a scary dungeon of a basement for 10 years now, 
and just seeing it come together and adding all of these items just feels so special and exciting and it was just so much fun to sort of bring you guys along and share share it all with you so all right guys well thank you so much for decorating with me i had so much fun decorating this laundry room even though i still have a few things to figure out i'd love to hear from you guys what do you think about some of the questions i asked do you like the material should i keep looking i'd love to hear from you guys don't forget that you can check the description below for the link to all of the items from timu that i featured in this video and you can also receive an extra 30% off by using the code in the description below. So don't forget to take advantage of that. Who has so many options on their website. Seriously, guys, you have to check it out. From home decor to pet supplies to beautiful spring dresses to everything you can imagine and laundry supplies. <laughs> so it was a lot of fun working with them today, but uh, let me know which item was your favorite. I'm really loving this artwork. I think that's my favorite, but if you are new to my channel, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.